Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. This is Madden 18 on EA Sports. Today's matchup features a couple of big targets who will be looking to get open in the middle of the field. It's the Colts going up against the Chargers. With that, it's time to hook up with our commentators in the booth as we turn it over to Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. Okay, Larry, we are about 11 miles south of the future home of the Chargers at the current home of the Chargers, and that's the StubHub Center in Carson. I'll tell you, you wouldn't think 30,000 people could make this noise. That's half the size of a normal NFL stadium. But this is no normal crowd. They are ready to go as their Chargers get set to match up with the Indianapolis Colts. Hello again, everybody. I'm Brandon Gunn here in the booth. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And you know, Charles Larry took a moment to highlight a couple of the tight ends that we're going to see in this game. Both of these teams really look to get them involved in the offense early and often, don't they? And we continue to see in the NFL how the tight end is becoming more and more of a highlighted position. Some of these guys can flex out like wide receivers. A lot of them can come inside, block as well as catch passes. He's exactly right. Tight end, that's a position we'll continue to follow as this game unfolds. <laughs> And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. They'll be led out by the veteran quarterback out of NC State. It's Phillip Rivers. The all-time leading passer in Charger history, which is saying something because they have a tradition of throwing the ball around out there. And one other thing. They had a lot of fourth quarter struggles last year. That wore on him more than anyone because he's so competitive. The first down throw here for Rivers. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. John Simon coming in from that outside linebacker spot. He gets him down for a loss of five. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. So the defense has put them in a tough spot. It's second and long. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. And that's incomplete. And we get a quick look at the Chargers starting offense. In 2016, the Chargers were ranked 14th overall in offense. They were only 26th in rushing, but that's not because they couldn't run the football. In fact, Melvin Gordon ran it pretty well at times. Overall, though, this is a pass-first team led by their quarterback, Phillip Rivers. They finished eighth in the league in throwing the football. Yeah, I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. From the gun, Rivers. And that is incomplete. Trust me, Brandon, I'm not about to try and take your job. I can't do what you do. But that wasn't just three and out. That felt like three and backwards. That's exactly what it was. Uh, you can have my job whenever <laughs> you want it. Uh, the drive that you're looking for, though, probably going forward, bad start to the ball game. Yeah, not the way to get things going. Oh, now Kayser, the punter, sending it away. Fielded at the 20. <laughs> Nearly a huge return, as it is. Still a very good one. 24 yards. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the quarterback, the Wisconsin product. It's Scott Tolzien. Only three starts in those seven years, but he's been a very reliable backup, understands the offense, knows how to distribute the ball appropriately. He's got a chance to be a good starter for them. Let's go. 
They go play action here on first down. Blitz coming and down he goes. Here's the first carry now for Frank Gore. And he'll get this up to about the 40. He was able to pick up six yards there, so that leaves him with a third and 13. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. Tolzine. And he's got his man, Hilton. T.Y. Hilton, nobody to beat. Touchdown, Indianapolis. T.Y. Hilton, 60 yards. And the Colts are going to take a first quarter lead. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers. That meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Now Adam Vinatieri for the point after. And this is good to make it 7-0 Indy. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it culminates in an Indianapolis touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Charger offense making their way back out there. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Now let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> And let's go through the starting defense for Indianapolis. When you look back at the 2016 season on defense for the Indianapolis Colts, when you look at the raw numbers, you're not impressed. 30th overall in total defense. So what they're trying to improve upon is playmakers. They've got to have some guys who can offset those types of numbers with making big plays and taking the ball away from the opposition. Offense still needing 10 yards, second down. To throw again. Rivers right back for Adam. This time he finds him complete. 
And this one will go to the 28-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. He missed on his first three passes, was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection. Maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you're wondering, can you get out of it? And that flips the other way, too, when you're throwing it really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be off to the races. Third and short yardage, Rivers. And he's got a man open. That's Allen. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Rivers saying, welcome back, Mr. Allen. It's a Charger first down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that now a first carry for melvin gordon and able to use his blockers to get this up over the 40. a good run there on first down and it'll leave them with a second and two if these kinds of lanes are available you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground yeah you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step and that's a big pickup right there on first down Second down, Rivers. Looking for Allen, he's got him on the slam. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. The Charger first down, Rivers hooking up with Allen. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Now Gordon on first down. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. Now a second down throw for Rivers. Benjamin with it over the middle. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Rivers to Benjamin, good for the Charger first down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Rivers on first down, looking middle, and it's incomplete. Keenan Allen, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. Back to the ground now with Gordon. Down to the 30 after a gain of three. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. Good, hot. 
Working out of the gun, Rivers. It's complete right side to Benjamin. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. And this seemingly endless drive continues. Now Rivers going to give it off to Gordon. And a short gain here down to the 22. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. They keep it on the ground. Again, Gordon. They'll get it inside the red zone, but only for a couple down to the 19. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. On third down, Rivers. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. First down, Rivers. He's got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Chargers. Hunter Henry, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Chargers are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Yeah, he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. Josh Lambeau now for the point after. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. On the return, it's Josh Ferguson. They find some open field here. And he's going to wind up bringing this one inside the 45-yard line. Well, that return gives him a golden opportunity to go out in front. How will the defense respond after giving up that type of a return? Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense at Summit. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. 
So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. And this offense sometimes is predicated on the ageless wonder, Frank Gore. And he wants to be a guy with limitless carries. Frank Gore gets better and better with each carry, really batters defenses with his inside running. Second down following the run. They'll stick to the ground game with Gore. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. The starters on defense here for Los Angeles. In 2016, the Chargers defense had its moments. They were ranked 10th against the run. Overall, total defense, though, they were 16th because they struggled a little bit against the pass, but they had a number of injuries, and they expect those guys back this year and expect to be an improved unit overall. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. the play fake. He'll look to throw. And he's got Moncrief. And he carries this one all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now that play will end up on the highlights, and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see, the offensive line that bought the extra time, that allowed for the big completion downfield, those guys made that play possible. In the red zone this time. First and goal here from the nine. They'll run it now out of the gun. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. Call it a loss of two on the play. And it'll be second and goal. That goes down as a loss against his rushing stats. But really, should he have to absorb that one? He had no chance on that play before they overwhelmed him. Pretty much on top of him before he could take his first step. And the offense behind the chains here a touch on second and 11. Another try on second down for Gore. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. Four yards on the pickup there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here. Not even a thought, is yeah, it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. Now Tolzien. And probably the wise decision there. No one open. He just throws it away. And that keeps the field goal on the table as it's fourth down. What's the old adage? Be quick, but don't hurry. Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be gotten rid of. Otherwise, he was going to get sacked. Vinatieri now on to try the field goal for the Colts. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And Vinatieri's kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. And out of Vinatieri, still going strong at the age of 44. The oldest player in the NFL entered the league in 1996. And to put that into perspective, his age, you know who was born in December of 95? This year's number one overall pick, Miles Garrett. How about that? And out of Vinatieri, still making big kicks all along the way. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. 
And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Colts defense, they work their way back onto the field. And in a tight ball game like this, the defense looking for a stop. You kind of, if whether you're the offense or the defense, you don't want to be the one to screw this thing up. No, not at all. And right now, you've got to figure that the offense is thinking to themselves, if you just get us the ball, we'll, be, we'll make things happen for you. Just help us out a little bit. And that's what the defense has to have in mind as they trot out here for this series. Yeah, right now, the offense on the sideline. Can the defense do it? Start the drive with a run by Gordon. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. See if they stay on the ground for second down. This is Gordon as they go to him again. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. The five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Getting the sense Charles are going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far is working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They got to feel pretty good about that one. And before they can get settled in here, time expires on the first quarter of action. It's a three-point game here early. We'll come back to Southern California after this. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Back now to begin the second quarter with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's the Chargers here with a football. They've got a second down at five here to start things out. Going to turn and give this one to his running back, Gordon. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Give him 12 yards there. The Chargers have a first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. For Brandon Oliver and he's going to be met at about the 43 two yards on the pick up there it'll be second and eight this drive is pretty clear almost feels like old school fundamentals doesn't it want to impose their will on the defense was that five straight runs yeah five straight carries to start this drive and like you said the way it's working they may just stick with it they'll try to throw here Rivers Looking sideline, incomplete. He was looking for Brandon Oliver that time, and it's third down. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. The Chargers on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and eight. 
Operating from the gun. Rivers. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. John Simon in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. There's a little bit of defense right there. Nickel set, five defensive backs. They just snuffed out every route that was going. Quarterback never got rid of the football. Here's Drew Kayser now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. It's just a 30-yard punt that time, no return. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. The Colts offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. The left side, it's Dorsett. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. Snap as they'll look to throw. Over to the right side, caught by Moncrief. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. throw now on first down and complete to Moncrief over the middle and he's brought down after a good game and a nice gain of 21 yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Second down, this is Gore. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. That's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Charge! 
They'll run it now, out of the gun. Oh, what a juke into space. Give the Colts 13 yards and a first down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. shy of the 25 here at the 26 yard line it'll go as a gain of six that time and it moves the chains as well i hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive the holes have been large and they've been barreling through them picking up first downs to throw here on first down over the middle and it's incomplete Philip Dorsett the intended receiver and it's second down well they're slinging it and then there's one you got to put a timer on huh I mean that one came in hot that came in hot but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete and the eighth play on this drive coming up they'll run it now out of the gun and he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. They get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. The Colts on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and four. They'll set up a throw. Now they go screen. It's complete. <laughs> Look at the spin. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Holding offense. So retract the yardage and retract the touchdown. And retract the chunk play. Big strike there to get the touchdown. Now they've got to take it back and see if they've got another one still in their arsenal. The Colts on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and 14. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Josh Perry in there to drop it for a loss of 10. And it'll be fourth and long. Brandon, what I remember most about playing with guys who knew how to rush the passer, they would just tell you, just cover people for me, just long enough for me to get there. And that's exactly what happened on that play. The Colts send out their punter. Back deep for the Chargers, Isaiah Burse. And out of bounds, sailed over, looked like right near the pylon. This one's going to be perfect. Directional kicking at its finest right down at the one-yard line. 
There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. You can count his carries on one finger. They've only given him the rock one time, Charles. What gives? So we can't draw any conclusions just yet. He has to touch the ball multiple times in order to get into a rhythm and have a chance to have success. You know who else gets into a rhythm? The offensive line. They feel better about what they're doing when they know they've had multiple opportunities to get it done. Yeah, well, the conclusion we can draw so far, they're losing here in the second quarter. Let's see if they change tunes. They'll start on the ground. This is Gordon on first down. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, he got what he could there, just trying to move forward and, and gain a little bit of yardage and create some space. You know the pressure is going to be tough defensively. Out of his end zone, Rivers. He's going to air one out. For a big play through the air on second down, couldn't connect. Now it's third. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had the fly, just sending a guy downfield with the in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. On the run, it's Oliver. And he will forge his way forward only up to the two-yard line. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Here's Drew Kayser now as he's on to punt for L.A. And he's able to get it out of there, and this is a pretty good kick. Taking it about the 36. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And out will come the offense as they take over. There he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of it. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. They'll come out throwing here on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave him with third and still seven yards to go. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And four C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. They'll look to throw here side by Dorsett. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. A gain of 11 that time and a Colts first down. Did you see that route the way that I did? I yep. thought he was trying to get deep Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not the, it came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well.
And here's carry number 10 for Frank Gore. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We'll come back to Southern California after this. We're just two minutes away from sending you to Orlando for Larry Ridley in our EA Sports Halftime Report, so don't forget about that coming up shortly. Yeah, it wouldn't be a halftime without him, and we thank him for doing the highlights. Let's go get a snack. Five yards left for the offense. It's second down. Tolzien. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked off by Denzel Perryman. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. And, Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Here now, a look at Melvin Gordon. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call it in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people, after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. Wide open. It's Allen complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 17 yards for the Chargers there as they've got themselves a first down. And his throw here is incomplete. Antonio Gates, the veteran tight end, was the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. A second down throw for Rivers. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Play fake, Rivers. Rush coming, and he's taken down. And now here's a timeout called by the Colts on the defensive side of the ball. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. Here's Drew Kayser now. He's been terrific so far. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds.
Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Caught left side by Hilton. T.Y. Hilton, nobody to beat. Touchdown, Indianapolis. T.Y. Hilton, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Colts strike quickly here for six points. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Vinatieri now for the point after. It's good to make it 17-7. And we can break that scoring drive down pretty easily. One play, long touchdown pass into the end zone. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. <laughs> and he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Getting set to go again here on offense, Keenan Allen marches back onto the field. He's been good so far to this point in the second quarter. Need to get him even more involved, maybe? I would agree with that, definitely. Uh, yeah, it's not even a question for me. The way he's playing, he's doing a nice job. Increase things, more touches, more opportunities. Maybe that can reverse things on the scoreboard for them. They'll try to ratchet things up then maybe here in the second quarter. down and that's complete to the right side it's Allen and they're able to get this one across the 35 and now before this first down play we're going to get a timeout here as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime and welcome back the offensive unit they took the timeout and now they get set to line up as we resume action across midfield and just shy of the 40. Well, they've already allowed three sacks in this first half. Now a holding penalty. So I think drastic measures had to be taken, right? The regular way was not working. He was getting hit almost every snap it felt like. They had to try and keep him upright. The penalty really backs up the offense here on first down. Now 20 yards to go. Working out of the gun, Rivers. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. That would have been a great catch, but it was real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. Second down following the incompletion. From the gun, Rivers. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. 
And before they can run this third down play, we're going to get a timeout. As the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gaunt alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes a timeout. And now we're set to get going. The Chargers on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third and eight. Rivers again. He's airing it out for Williams. That's caught inside the 20. And he'll be taken down deep into Indianapolis territory. A big play there just before halftime. 43 yards. down now but the clock continues to move slam, slam, slam. from the red zone now Rivers and out of bounds all the way down at the two yard line another nice gain 16 yards there and a first down again and that extra yardage makes this upcoming field goal attempt much more manageable. Agreed, because when you talk to defensive coordinators, they always tell us the 35-yard line on our side of the field, that's the line we guard the most aggressively, because once they get there, they believe they're in field goal range. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. This one through, and they're back within a touchdown. It's 17 to 10. So a field goal here. They're still down, but they put a dent into that lead before the break. And that's got to feel good because now they've seen that they can put some more points on the board, and that gives them a whole second half to get back to where they want to be, and that's in the lead. the main field goal back out Lambo to kick this one off this fielded a few yards into the end zone and not wanting to risk anything here late in the half he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25 And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we come to halftime here with the visiting Colts taking the lead to the locker room. As we send you now to Orlando and our Tiburon Studios, where Larry Ridley's standing by with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? All right, Brandon, we'll see if I can get through this without being skipped as we welcome you to our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Chargers haven't played their best football and trailed because of it. The Colts have come in and looked good as the road team and will just keep trying to play hard and maintain the lead going forward. So let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Now first and 10, Henry's wide open here on the catch, and he kept off the long drive with a touchdown, as that evens the score at 7-7. About halfway through the second, Perry's gonna get the quarterback here. This will go as a loss of 10. In 10, Tolzien's on point with the throw, and he'll win the sprint to the end zone as they move out in front, 10-7. So 
Well, that'll do it for us here in Orlando. For the call of the second half, let's hand it back over to Brandon and Charles. Brandon. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. Spins away. Oh, he shifts past him, and he is out of bounds as they'll start up past the 30. And we take some time to spotlight T.Y. Hilton now. And I know that they double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Play fake here on first down. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Corey Legion with a great push up front. He picks up the sack and a loss of eight. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sack. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> Him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. So nothing there, but maybe you blame that on the blocking. Yeah, at some point, you've got to win at the point of attack, and on that play, that was all the defense. They made it happen. The Colts on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be a tough third and 18. Back to throw here. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And picked up by the Chargers. And fantastic field position has them just outside the 10 at the 11-yard line of the red zone. But that's a down and distance coach is always talking about trying to avoid, isn't it? I mean, that's third and long. And you just know they're pinning their ears back and coming after him. Sometimes even with extra pressure. And he, he knew that. I mean, he, he knew they were coming. He just fumbled it. Yeah, he knew it. The offensive line knew it. Everyone did. Yet the pressure was still there. And he ended up coughing it up. Now we'll look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. And they had three points last time. But they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point. The kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Toe <laughs> Super. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Travis Benjamin, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Chargers are an extra point away from tying this thing up. And on this play, he just made a great route. The quarterback had to deliver it, sure, but a great route run there. And, Brandon, this is what the best receivers do. They work on their route running because it's one thing to have athletic ability, but to really get open, you have to set up defensive backs with different routes and be precise in your cuts. Lambeau on for the extra point. And he gets it to go, and we're all even. 17 apiece. 
A nice tidy little drive there. Getting the ball in excellent field position. And only one play to score it. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. Quan Bray now to return this football. Ooh, the juke. Oh, now he bowls him over. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. And the Colts coming out now. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go-around. <laughs> a big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. You know, they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Time to establish the run game. It's Gore. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Now Tolzien. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll get to the 29-yard line, brought down there. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? The Colts on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and four. Now back to throw. Over the middle, it's complete. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Indianapolis moving the chains there on a gain of 12. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. They run. It's Gore. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. It's real easy to say this running game needs to be better, but the reality is they've been given little time to actually find a place to run the football. It's almost like the defense is there on the handoff. It's already second and 12. The defense hoping to push them back more. Another carry now for Gore. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. A nice job there as he rumbles for nine. And it'll be back to a third and three. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. The Colts on third down. They've hit four of seven. This time it's third and three. He'll drop to throw. Over the middle complete. It's Doyle. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. That's good for an Indianapolis first down on a gain of 10. We always look for breakout seasons, and Jack Doyle had one in 2016. 59 catches, 
What? He didn't even have that in the previous three seasons. No, previous three, 35 combined. But he was stuck behind Kobe Fleener for a while. He went to New Orleans, really opened things up, didn't it? Yeah, and Dwayne Allen's been shipped off to New England. So Jack Doyle, truly tight end one. Now Gore. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. Looking to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another good reception there. The Colts on the march. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. They go play action here on first down toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Dante Moncrief that time. That'll bring up second down. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and 10. They'll look to throw. Incomplete. He was looking for Jack Doyle that time. And it's third down. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying no more. We're speaking a stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him one more time. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Now we've got whistles and a flag. Looked like one of the Colts linemen might have jumped. Offense. Yeah, that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Still third down. The Colts on third down. They've had good success. Five for eight to this point. This will be third and 15. And here is motion again. And that's going to be two in a row. That's going to set him back five yards. Still third down. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. They're going to look to throw. And he's got his man, Hilton. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how in sync was the quarterback in his center on that play? They saw the blitz made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged, because now they know there are going to be extra guys coming at the quarterback, so they got their assignments down, Pat, and kept them away from him, and he's able to step up in the pocket and fire one now for a really good strike. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again.
Ooh, long drive. The defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Oh, it stays up. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Melvin Ingram in there to drop him, and sacks on first and second downs are going to lead to a third and long. It's been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Here we go. Green, 39. He'll look to throw. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. Terry now ought to try the field goal for the Colts. He hit his first. Now this from 43. And Vinatieri's kick is good. And with that, they take the lead here 20 to 17. So a 15-play drive. Can't believe that only resulted in three, but it did. That is somewhat amazing, isn't it? When you hold the ball that long, run offense that well, yet only put three points on the board, it has to be a little bit of a disappointment, doesn't it? Has to. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fielded about a yard deep. Shreds the tackle. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Play fake to Gordon, now Rivers. Wide open receiver complete. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Yeah, two tight ends in the formation on that one. It looked to me like he had his pick of receivers downfield. I think he was just planning on going over the middle. That's what he did. Picked up first down, too. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Rivers on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Margus Hunt in there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Yeah, yeah. 
Rivers now on second down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. The Chargers on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third down and 12. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying <laughs> to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. Here's Drew Kayser now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Shifts by him. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. They'll start on the ground with Gore. And it'll work his way across the 30 to the 32. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Final minute now of the third quarter. Again, they run. Again, it's Gore. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Let's go. Three and 19. Three and 19. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at the StubHub Center in Carson. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. to the workhorse today. It's Gore. Gore hit. He lost the football. And this is recovered by the Chargers. I know when you're looking at the scoreboard clock, we're, we're getting near the end of this game. But they were in what was really called four-minute offense. And that's practice, being taking care of the football, taking time off the clock, not giving them a chance to come back. 
The bottom line is, what did I say in the beginning? Taking care of the football. That didn't happen. Didn't do it. A costly turnover. The Chargers getting set to go. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Rivers now after the fumble recovery. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. He was looking for Antonio Gates that time. And now it's second down. A little too much oomph, too much mustard there on that pass. Yeah, really turned it loose, didn't he? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. Throwing again. Rivers on second and ten. And it's complete to Antonio Gates. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Give him 12 yards there, and the Chargers have a first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. A first down throw here for Rivers. Caught by Gates, left side. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Antonio Gates, 30 yards. And the Chargers have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. Lambo to add on the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it ends with the Chargers getting into the end zone. Lambeau out to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he is going to be knocked flat on his back. Oh, a big hit. And the Colts getting ready to go. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. So you can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. Let's go! Green, 39! Tolzien. His throw incomplete. T.Y. Hilton, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. to throw now on second and ten. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Doyle. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. 
Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. The Colts on third down. They're hitting at 60%, 6 out of 10 thus far. Here it's third and three. They'll try and pick up the first with Gore. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. throw here on first down he couldn't quite hold it got hit ball pops out incomplete that's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football really really well done decent offense just better defense I think you're right so incomplete on first let's see what second down has in store to throw incomplete but a penalty flag is down in the backfield let's get the call Holding offense. well there have been a ton of sacks Still they were just trying to prevent another so what you're telling me is the conventional way has not really worked for them huh not at all not at all so he tries to grab him here and they still get caught Robert Turbin and he'll get this one up to the 26 and they only get a yard back there they'll be left with a third down and long well so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things but the defensive guys hey they just won the battle there it wasn't a big run given up they don't always have to absorb the body blows sometimes they dish them out themselves The Colts on third down. Now they've converted seven times and could use another right now. This will be third and 19. They'll look to throw here. But he finds his man, Kamar Aiken. 20, 10, touchdown Indianapolis. Kamar Aiken, 74 yards. And the Colts have taken the lead here in the fourth. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. There aren't any speed limits out there. And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. That time, a six-play drive, and the result for the Colts is a touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. 
This fielded a few yards into the end zone. Well, some might have returned that one. He won't. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start the drive from the 25. And the Chargers coming out of the field now. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Play fake here, Rivers. And he's going to be out of bounds right at the 40. Give him 15 yards on that one and a charge your first down. If you run an out route, it's likely you're going to end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Play fake, Rivers. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Give them 12 yards there. The Chargers have a first down. I know they don't like to hear it when they get to a certain age. But then you have to start to use your, your skills, your wiles, right, your mind to beat guys to the football. And getting your toes tapped in bounds definitely qualifies as that, doesn't and it? The veteran showing he still has the agility. On play action, Rivers. This time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Marcus Hunt in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. Second down throw for Rivers. Throws a quick hitter on the slant. That's complete. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. The Chargers on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This is third and nine. From the gun, Rivers. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. So with a yardage on that completion, he's now right at exactly 300 yards on the game. And isn't that the magic number you get, all right, 300? That means it's going to go on a commemorative football to put on your mantle when they give you the game ball if your team wins. So much confidence flowing through him right now, throwing the football. I think it's permeated itself throughout the entire team. They feel good about what they're doing. On first and ten, Rivers. He's got the hook up here on the comebacker, complete. And he takes it down to the ten-yard line.
To give them the yardage on the pass and half the distance to the goal line. Because they're inside the 30. So now you don't march off the full 15, right? You have half the distance to the goal. In any event, that's precious real estate given up. So they're operating in the red zone. And now whistles here and a flag down. Looked like someone got going a little early. And that'll set them back five. one losing yardage back at the 12 that's gonna go as a loss of two and it'll be second down he already has two sacks to his credit now another tackle for a loss and you know how you can always identify who was supposed to block him they're the ones helping up the person who just got knocked to the ground with the ball right whether it's a running play or a pass play they've got to figure out a way to slow him down maybe you chip him with a second guy maybe you just out and out double him maybe you make sure you take the ball and throw it as far away from him as possible because right now he is wrecking things for them again gordon on second and goal and able to push his way forward here for a good little game four yards on the pickup there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Now, movement up front. I think they're going to get one of the Charger linemen. Offense. So that'll back him up five. This offense so far on third down, they've hit on half of them, five for 10. They're looking at a third and goal here. And now movement again, and they'll march even further backward. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. The Chargers on third down. They've hit on half of them. Five for ten. This is third and goal. And here is motion again. And that's going to be two in a row. That's on Forrest Lamp, the top guard taken in this year's draft. The Chargers on third down. They've hit on half of them. Five for ten. This will be third and a mile. Play action now. Rivers. And this is going to be caught. No, they say it's incomplete. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. Offense. So that one will be accepted. So on now is the kicker, Josh Lambeau. He connected on his first. This time it's 39 yards away. Put 
this one through. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. Maybe an anxious moment or two when the ball was on its way, but he does find a way to curl it in. Oh, yeah. That one definitely hugged the left upright, but he got it to go. Set to go now with the kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. This is fielded a couple yards deep. They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. The Colts now, their offense works their way back onto the field. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. If <laughs> you love pressure, I love it. Let's we'll see if they dial it up this drive. And oh, a good hit there and knocked down hard right at the line of scrimmage. But it was stopped on that play. But he's had plenty of carries all afternoon. Every now and then the defense is going to win one, but I don't think they'll shy away from handing it to him the rest of the game. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Now Tolzien. He's going to look deep down the field. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. They were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're usually going to pick up a holding call. Following the penalty, it's Gore. And he's going to be taken down right at about the 15-yard line. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, it's hard to get them started again occasionally. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Corey Legion in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. The Colts send out their punter as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. <laughs> Slips past him. Where'd he go? A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. 
Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Now Gordon on first down. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there. Second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. On second down, they'll run with Gordon. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. On third down, Rivers going deep here for Allen. And a shot taken on third down unsuccessful. Fourth down now. Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit and they may have to change accordingly. Here's Drew Kayser now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Colts offense now as they make their way onto the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Even score late in the fourth. Let's see if the defense can play within themselves, not give up the big play and contain, and keep this knotted up. They'll try and start the drive here with Gore. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it, because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. Offense can string something together, but they'll need to do it quickly here to try to get points on the board and win this game. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Over the middle complete. It's Doyle. And oh, he is really laid out that time. Knocked flat on his back. It goes as a gain of eight that moves the chains. Time for a break. We'll come back and see how it all shakes out after this. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. first down and he can't get a throw off he's taken down what a huge play at this point in the game Melvin Ingram in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon the amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary let's just face it this offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush it's been demonstrated time and time again And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Let's go. 
He'll drop to throw. Caught on the right side by Dorsett. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. A good pick up there. 18 yards as they get closer for third down. They're going to look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like having there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's thrown it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions, and that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. The Chargers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play, but if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. Here's Rivers. This is Gordon on the dump off. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Call it a gain of five, and it'll be second down. So just about a minute to go here, tie ball game. As fans, we love free football. But the guys in the field don't. They're going to attack and go for the win right now. Rivers. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Jabal Sheard in there with pressure yet again. And that's the seventh time they've dropped him here this afternoon. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. So it's third and long for the Chargers and Rivers after the sack. They run, it's Oliver. And they'll get him down here at the 23. And now here's a timeout called by the Colts on the defensive side of the ball. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. Here's Drew Kayser now as he's on to punt for L.A. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. This is taken at the 15. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And possession will change here with very little time remaining in this contest. Try and start this drive in the air. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And we've got a timeout. Nine seconds remaining.
So the offense took the timeout. Looks like they're ready to go as we get set to resume the action. Fresh set of downs here. to throw wide open receiver complete and now they're going to get the timeout a huge play has him in field goal range with a chance to win so the offense takes the timeout and they are back out and ready to rock So it comes down to a man who has done this many, many times before, Adam Vinatieri. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. So it comes down to a man who has done this many, many times before, Adam Vinatieri. Two seconds on the clock, this for the win. It has the distance, and it is good. Adam Vinatieri does it again. And the Hoosier State will celebrate tonight as the Colts have won it. A lot of scoring. There's no doubt about that in this one, Charles. Points, they were not at a premium. They were pretty easy to come by. <laughs> they were, but it was fun, wasn't it? Because both teams finding ways to click. And you know people who love this game. They also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. From Southern California, so long, everybody.